Introducing Spotlight, SPO2 functional tester, the latest member of the ProSim family. Today we're going to look at a scenario and try out a scenario where we get a, clinic, a call from the clinical unit that the patient monitor is not working. And they're not very specific, so we need to take a pretty fully functional um, set of equipment up to be able to quickly evaluate whether this patient monitor is working or not working. We'll pick both our ProSim 4 and our uh, Spotlight, and I will go on ProSim 4 first to IBP and zero, and then on the clinical device, I will select my channel and zero, the IBP channel, and as soon as I have a zero, I can go on ProSim 4 back to the home screen, IBP, to the home screen, hypertensive patient. On the spotlight, I want to pick custom three, and I want to start an NIBP reading on the patient monitor. You'll hear the music begin with, from ProSim 4 as it simulates the NIBP from the patient, make, will make the measurement. Because this is a hypertensive patient, it sets off the high limit alarms that's normal. We can silence those while we're waiting for the rest of the values to settle in and the NIBP reading to finish. And there we go. We will now go back to ProSim 4 to a normal patient. On Spotlight, we'll pick Custom 2, start another NIBP reading. and the patient monitor will display its values. We're comparing those against the displays on both ProSim 4 and Spotlight so that we have our waveform normal sinus rhythm, a heart rate of 60, a respiratory rate of 20, an IBP invasive blood pressure of 120 over 80, an IBP of 120 over 80 with a mean of 93, and our oximeter value should be uh, 98% and a heart rate from, anti from SPO2 of uh, 60 beats a minute. We'll wait for our NIBP reading to complete. On the ProSim 4, we go back to the home screen, pick Hypotensive on Spotlight. We'll switch to Custom 1. Start another NIBP reading on the device. We now set off low alarm limits. And we're only waiting for the NIBP reading to complete. We can compare all the other values. We'll silence the alarm. Ah, silence the alarm. There we go. And we can see that we have a heart rate of 30, a respiratory rate of 10, invasive blood pressure of 60 over 0, and NIBP of 60 over 30. Our oximeter reading is 80% SpO2 and a heart rate of 30. And as soon as the NIBP reading is complete, we have completed a fairly quick, complete evaluation of this patient monitor as to whether it's working or not working, both high and low alarm limits and so forth. And we can see that the patient monitor is fully functional and will leave it in clinical use. If it were faulty, we would remove it from clinical use, replace it with a different patient monitor, and very quickly you can see we've done a full check using both the ProSim 4 and Spotlight, fully portable, very functional parts of the ProSim family.